Hi guys, and um, during last last night's stream, I hate that when it happens. During last night's stream, um, one of my moderators, Effin Ban, thank you, Effin, brought to my attention that uh, Gaijin and uh, War Thunder are going to be going through a matchmaker and economy update, and uh, so. I'm I'm gonna give my two cents on this subject and uh, bear in mind guys this is just my two cents this is just my 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 opinions so to say this is just what I feel is a good thing and a bad thing things like that so uh, first things first I want to apologize for the length of this video. This video may go on above 15 to 20 minutes. If it goes on longer than that, I may make this video a two-parter. So, because I know you guys, you, you, uh, no disrespect, but some of you guys have the attention span of a flea. So, first things first, uh, the links to this will be in the video description, along with the other systems information that you need. Uh, dear players, we are play pleased to inform you that the next battle raiding and economy update in War Thunder will expand the process of the matchmaker by introducing a new set of rules which makes it possible to influence the build of your teams in all game modes. Rules will be very flexible and can be applied to individual ranges of BRs, specific types of vehicles, also for specific vehicles. This will allow more precision on in distribution on the forces of the battle, ultimately making battles more balanced releasing a previously unattainable quality of gameplay. Here is some information which could help you understand the system. The potential of the new rule system is extensive. A good example of how to use the rules can be used in historical events which are interesting for players who like realism and fixed setups in battles and not using matchmakers with BR. Previously we could only create some events which with allowed vehicles it wasn't possible to limit the number of specific vehicles this had negative aspects for gameplay in the events because of the course of these players prefer that most effective vehicles which nullified historical balance i.e. people taking uh, Tiger 2's in uh, early, to mid <clears throat> early to mid battles where the Tiger 2 was a late, late war tank uh, T-54s ta uh, taking on uh, uh, Yagtiga tank destroyers, etc, etc. Um, so let's carry on. Uh, this example of historical events is intended to show the possibility of using the rules. These rules will also apply to tournaments, squadron battles, and also, which is extremely important, even in random battles. Specifically, random battles will have the new rules applied first. Currently, the battles at high rank ranks from battle rating 7 point up 0 and upwards are seriously complicated by a margin of the top vehicles in War Thunder. Because while the creation of the game session of the, for the battle rating of 8.0, matchmaking will be made only, of, only from vehicles with the same rank or lower. While the vehicles with a battle rating of 7.0 have spread to both sides, thus evenly distributed over the battles, receiving much more varied gameplay rather than the highest BR. And as you can see, they're openly saying that uh, uh, if you're in an 8.0 tank, the lowest tank you will see is a 7.0, while if you're a 6.0 tank, so that covers your Tiger 2s, uh, your Tiger H, Panthers, Jag Tigers, uh, uh, Kugelblitz. It covers a lot of German tank, high tier tanks. The max you're going to see now is 7.0s, which means you will still see IS3s, sadly, because the IS3 got bumped down from 7.7 .7 to 7.0. So you're still going to see tanks, again, that were specifically designed to hunt and kill just those other specific tanks that you have. There's not going to be any varied gameplay there period there's not not from the soviets it's all going to be is3s uh, uh t34 100s 
um, and things of that nature. Tanks that were specifically designed to hunt and kill German tanks. They were not designed for anything else. As for Americans, you're going to see a lot of Walker Bulldogs. You're going to see a lot uh, uh, of um, T-28s. Uh, so, so, you know, German tanks are going to be... It's going to feel like it, everything's set to uh, balanced towards German tanks, but it's actually not. Uh, again, if you know how to get around specific tanks, that know their, their strengths, their weaknesses, you've already won. Now, what I plan on doing here is, is continuing on to read a little bit so you guys understand what I'm explaining. Uh, in such a complex situation, the use, tactic, uh, use of tactics and battles with BRs 8.0 does not give a desired effect because of the enemy, which is con constrained by these rules. Exce exceeds you not only in thickness of armor, but also usually by quantity. This situation needed to be corrected. Thank you. It's nice to see that they, they uh, decided not to try and stack the deck against you. This is the reason why we decided to implement this step towards progression progressing players and players who have already reached the top ranks and why we are limiting the numbers of top vehicles in each gaming session for both teams this allows us to diversify the gameplay at top ranks and make progression more convenient basically what they're saying is if you are in an 8.0 tank and an 8.0 like maxed out lineup for example like uh, um, fly daily baron uh, um, dust david games and myself uh, we're gonna take it's gonna take us longer at higher tiers to get into a battle because the matchmaker is taking into account the the rank of your 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 the battle rating of your tanks to how many that are uh, readily available uh, the introduction of the new rules will make matchmaking more complex at higher ranks because of now like I said it's gonna take longer because now for the same amount of players at high ranks entering the battles, we must have more concurrent game sessions. This is not always achievable. Therefore, the next step is an essential lowering the ceiling BR for aircraft and ground vehicles, which coupled with the new rules will mean that, a work of, that the work of matchmaker will not lead to the dominate of top, top vehicles in a battlefield. This would, of course, require the necessary rebalancing or battle, rank, battle rating changes for all vehicles within the effective battle range spread. So from 8.0 to 6.0, both tanks and planes. So you're looking at jets getting a bit of a, a, a tussling up. So basically, what I, what I think they're trying to say here is that prop planes will see less jets, which is not a bloody bad thing. It's not, because the Japanese planes mid-tier just before jets, uh, the Ki-84 uh, uh, and various other planes, that in, the, the Death Star, everyone knows what the Death Star is. The the um, the G-8 Ryzen, the, 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 the Death Star with all the cannons, won't possibly see jets now. So that's a good that that's a good thing for those, and it's also a bad thing. Uh, simply because I I actually quite enjoy shooting down jets in a prop, in a prop bomber because it's absolutely fucking hilarious. They start screaming hacks and all these stupid shit, and it's not it's just you're stupid enough to fly behind a plane that has, you know, six twenty mil cannons in its ass. You know, duh. Um, Therefore, the next step in the essential lowering the scene, uh, coupled with the new rules, uh, thus, of course, da, 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 da. however, the matchmaker works using the new rules. Let's see with an example of ground vehicles where a maximum BR will be 7.7. .7. Okay, so we're looking at Soviets and tier 4, no, tier 5 German. Initially, the new rules will be applied only for battles higher rank with a BR spread. So 6.7 to 7.7 .7 and 7.0 to 7.7. .7. Uh, okay, that doesn't make any sense. Mathematically, it doesn't. Uh, so in battles where participating vehicles are a minimum BR of 6.7, so German, so you're looking at Tiger 2s, Tiger 1, of, uh, uh, the, the 10.3 Tiger, uh, Tiger 2, sorry, and various, you know, Panther, Panther 2s, with a max and a maximum BR of 7.7. .7. The number of ground vehicles with a BR of 7.7 7 .7 will be limited to 25% of all team members. Four top vehicles in a team of 16 players. Well, okay, now that starts to make sense, but there's a big bug here, and I'll, I'll, I'll cover that in the next bit here. In battles where participating vehicles have a minimum BR of 7.0, 
and a maximum BR of 7.7, .7, the number of vehicles with a BR of 7.7 .7 will be limited to 35% from all team members, 6 top vehicles uh, in a team with 16 players. Okay. We hope that the new matchmaking rules will be a great tool for players aspiring to the highest of progress and therefore, sorry, and for those who have already discovered the power of top vehicles. We will open the game to much more varied play. See you in the battle. Now, um, this is where I'm going to ask these questions, listen to their answers, and then answer it in my own way. Uh, I'm not going to hide anything. This video is not sponsored by Gaijin. I am not sponsored by Gaijin. My channel is not sponsored by Gaijin. Some of these answers I will agree with. Some of these answers I will call out as complete tosh. Okay, so what happens if I have a BR of 5.7? Will I be matched against vehicles of 6.7? Answer, in this situation, the rules will not be applied because it will, will, will be applied only for a BR spread of 6.7 to 7.7 and 7.0 to 7.7. You didn't answer his question. So the answer is no. So from now on, 5.7s won't see 6.7s. Do you see? Whoever answered these questions must be a politician. That's all I need to say. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to take politician talk, filtrate it, and give it back to you as gamer talk. I play only vehicles with a BR of 7.3. Is it possible that a number of top vehicles will be limited by my battles? Answer, only if you will, only if you'll be matched in battles with a BR spread which excuse me falls under the new rules so that only if you have someone with a BR of 6.7 or 7.0 or 7.7 .7 in your battle if a minimum BR in a battle is 7.3 the amount of vehicles with a BR of 7.7 .7 is not limited so if your entire lineup let, let me translate what that is for you guys so if your battle rating lineup is all 7.3s which is almost impossible in this game you are going to get fucked over. So you're going to see an entire team of 7.7s. Uh, enemies with a BR of 7.7 .7 are too powerful for my tank with a battle rating of 6.7. Answer. Matchmaking always tends to level the power of teams and you will have the same number of powerful allies that will balance your balance the advantage. Um, this, quite, this answer is bollocks. Okay? Complete tosh. Work of fucking fiction, fabrication. They pulled it out their ass. They pulled it out of Tinkerbell's ass and it's covered in pixie dust. The reason why, because the matchmaker is not taking into account the stew fucking pidity of players. It doesn't matter if we've both got, if both teams have six 7.7 .7 tanks and I'm in a 6.7 and all fucking six of my 7.7 .7 tankers suck fucking balls and keep lemon training off towards and dying that still doesn't fucking help me so there that 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 summed up that fucking question right there the matchmaker is still not taking into account the player's skill level it's just taking into account the br of the vehicle in question tank or plane so when it when that basically what it boils down to it is going to boil down to this one simple answer he who spends the most gold wins it's going to be a gold rush it's going to be a gold race uh, uh, i'm going to spend a whole bunch of gold to unlock all the upgrades for my tank for my plane therefore my plane performance wise or my tank performance wise is better than yours oh you're in a uh uh uh, 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 a mouse? Good for you. I'm in a walker bulldog that has freaking hash rounds that just goes through 400 millimeters thick of armor. So your armor is now obsa fucking leap. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? That's exactly what that question is. It's pure, unadulterated bullshit. Next question. What about aircraft? Answer. The new system will be active for ground vehicles and aircraft using the same rules which are described in the announcement. The top BR and aircraft battles are also lowered. So let me guess. You've lowered the top BR for jets. 
so that jets get to bully lower fucking planes again. Nice one. GG. I have an aircraft with a BR of 8.0 and higher and ground vehicles with a BR of 7.7. What will happen? Answer. In this case, matchmaking will work as normal and will select the BR spread of possible opponents between 7.0 and 8.0. So, literally, if you want to purposely fuck over this new matchmaker that they're doing a great big old fucking belly announcement about, if you want to fuck it over, which, by the way, you shouldn't have fucking answered this question, just throw in a alternating battle rating system and you will purposely get into a match where your tank is vastly more superior. Uh, the situation in RB and SB where straight bombers are quickly completing the objectives for the team, what effects will this have on that? Answer, if the new system works well, we will consider all options for it, for its use in order to achieve comfortable, fair gameplay. Limitations of strategic bombers in battles will also be possible thanks to the new rules. Make, uh, make a suggestion to underline it. Um, okay. This is horseshit because now you're penalizing players who are on TeamSpeak, on Skype, on VOP, uh, uh, on Raid Call, on whatever, who are literally flying in formation, who are doing the right fucking thing. Which what bombers did in real fucking life. They flew in formation. They stayed in radio contact. And now you're going to punish them for it. Here's a hint. How about you nerf the fucking Yar 2 and it's bullshit bomb load. There. And give the Lancasters their realistic bomb load. Give the Wellingtons their realistic bomb loads. How about you do that? How about you give the bombers their realistic fucking bomb loads? I mean, flying in a bomber as it is right now is, is stupid. Because you've made every plane made of tissue paper. With this new damage model system that you implemented in the last bloody patch. It is planned to introduce the same system to other BRs. For example, four tanks with a BR 4.7 in battles with tanks of BR 3.7. Answer. Uh, the answer is above. Excessive use of the new system is not recommended because of the complexity of the matchmaking will inevitably be in will be the encasing waiting time in queues, sometimes up to unreasonable values, which as in a case of lowering the higher BR described above may require appropriate changes. So what they're saying is, is this guy's asking a question of, can I abuse the system by taking four of my 4.7 tanks and the rest of my tanks be lower than that i.e. 3.7 to force his 4.7s to fight 3.7s their answer is no you can't do it their answer is yes you can do it yes you can circumvent this brand new fucking system that we're trying to implement and this is how you're going to do it but this is what's going to happen you're going to get longer wait times but don't worry to stop all you Russian crybabies crying into your vodka about wait times we're just going to lower the BR of everything so that nothing has a fucking wait time anymore so your answer to try and circumvent people who are already trying to circumvent your system is to lower the BR. To just give up. Are you fucking stupid? Increase the innovation of queue times and events because all players will play using limited vehicles. Answer. When the system will be introduced in individual events that can of course increase the, uh, the time in the queue because it is logical that between the Tiger and the Panzer III players who has both players will prefer the Tiger so we'll be careful. Actually no douchebag, not at all. I have a Tiger in my lineup but my Tiger in my lineup hardly ever sees any battle time anymore. Why? Because you've basically made Tigers obsolete with the introduction of fucking Korean War era ammo, you fuckwits. World War II, early, mid, and late production tanks taking on Korean War, cold era, fucking vehicles. G, fucking G. Real smart, isn't it, you douchebags? So if my tank already doesn't have any fucking armor, I'm going to go with mobility. I'm going to go with fucking firepower. I'm going to go with the Panzer IV, uh, the Panzer fucking 3H. Or the Panzer 3J. Or the, I, I'm going to go with a tank that has a punch. 
I'm not going to go the tank that's just going to drive forward, walk point, take the first fucking hit, and have none of his teammates shoot fucking back. Because that's basically life as a tiger now, lately. Still. Let's take a look at the current battle rating system. Now, this is their Wikipedia page, of course. Links will be in the video description down below. Thanks for sticking with me with this video so far. I know it's a bit lengthy, but I, I, I'm, I'm getting to the point. Now, unfortunately, the calculations that they only have right now is for aviation on the, the wiki. The wiki has not been updated in quite some fucking time. Uh, Gaijin, you might want to get someone on this. But here, they're explaining uh, the comparison sheets for fighter aircraft. Uh, of course, this has not been updated in quite some time either. Uh, last update was the 3rd of June. It was modified. Uh, yeah, 3rd of June. So, uh, yeah, this, this has not been updated for the current patch we're using. Has not been updated. So... Here you can see the battle ratings. It explains the maximum speed, turn times, rate climbs. This is, honestly, this is a link that I honestly think that a lot of, of, of new players could benefit from. So this is why I'm posting this. I'll be posting this link with all this information uh, in not only my Facebook group, uh, but also uh, on uh, the video description. But... In the end, th this explains it to it. So he here's the overall. This is, this is what it, it's currently using. As a result for your overall BR, Air Arcade Battle, battle Group lineup, 6.0, 5.7, 5.0 is now 5.7. Basically, it's taken the middle. Right now, it would take always take the middle of what your, your lineup is. Okay? So if you have a jet, have a jet, have a jet, you're going to see jets. Jet, 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 spitfire, you're going to see jets. Jet, spitfire, spitfire, you're still going to see jets, which is going against what they just typed right fucking here. Uh, but do you see what I'm saying? They're using a visual reference chart for you. Uh, the reference charts, again, everything you see here, guys, all the information that you're going to see, uh, uh, again, the M103 versus the Mals. Look, 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 look. No, no, no Soviet biasm there. No, no, no Soviet biasm. No, 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 no fucking Soviet biasm at all is there. This is how I, out of date this is. Okay, they haven't added the, uh. Leopard. They haven't added Leopard and they haven't added the whole bunch of fucking premium shit that you can get now at 7.0 for the Soviets. This is how out of date this is, but it still gives you a rough idea of currently what the matchmaker's like to help you with your matchmaker and your BR system. Again, links to everything that you see here, guys, will be available in the video description. Um, thanks for listening to me rant, Rave. Thanks for listening. I hope my explanation of what this lawyer jargon bollocks here is. And uh, again, guys, I will see you in the next one, my friends, which will probably be a review of uh, one of my all-time favorite Hey, Brett. Uh, bombers of all time. And uh, until then, guys, take care. Keep sure it's fine. Keep your enemies dying. Your cover commander is out. And I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Wandering around. Uh, of course, biggest weakness is the upper ma uh, uh, the upper uh, uh, chassis. With it only being 16mm. So you got to be careful of artillery. Even light artillery will, will wreck you. You have to be careful of HE as well, because HE will wreck you. Um, this isn't spaced armor, unfortunately, so don't give your opponents your sides if you if you can't, you know, if you can't help it. Same as the turret. The turret's not really that strong, but it does have some sort of angling to it, 25 degree angling. So, you know, unless you're going down the hill with, you know,